Him About Games of Tropico and Omerta fame is making Victor Vran, an isometric action RPG now on Steam Early Access. At first glance, it seems like there's not much to it. It also seems like something that maybe you're all too familiar with for the genre, but anyone who knows the studio knows that their beauty is more than skin deep. Victor Vran is a choose-your-own-adventure in action RPG form, from the gear to the dungeons you delve into. No longer do you aimlessly wander into a dungeon. You are given a preview of what awaits you before you accept. It does create a lack of cohesion as a result, but it makes it so you don't overwhelm yourself. The beginning of the game makes it so that this doesn't happen, as the prologue will point you in all the right directions to learn the basics. The overview map of the world looks dense and the dungeons are rated on difficulty. Victor Vran starts off with a sword for melee, but has a shotgun for crowd control and a powerful demon ability that rains down fiery meteors for area of effect damage. Using these weapons and powers in conjunction with one another makes him a very powerful person solo. There's promise of co-op, but at the time of this recording it was not possible due to it being not implemented yet. Even though this is isometric, there's free movement for both Victor and the camera. There's no click to move or a fixed camera angles. Using W, A, S, A, and D, or the left stick on a controller, you can move Victor around. There's even a dedicated jump button to get him over obstacles and even wall jump. I haven't found a good reason outside of the tutorial to do so, but it is exciting for what opportunities this will be useful for. A weapon in your second hand can be unlocked via leveling, rather than be a skill or a class-based thing. In fact, there are no classes in Victor Vran, which is the most refreshing thing. There's no real hemming and hawing and character design choices, you just go. This also adds to the freedom that is given to you in Victor Vran, you are choosing who to be and how. When looking at your character sheet, it shows your health, armor, armor penetration, damage per second, crit, hit percentage, and critical damage. These pieces of information are easy to glance at and are super helpful when developing a build that you want to use over the long term. Victor Brand doesn't want to waste your time, it seems. There are also cards that you can equip for passive buffs, like the Hope card for an additional 200 health points. In opposition to this, there are cursed items that bear hexes to increase the difficulty should you want that challenge. It's interesting to see that gear is in full sets rather than piecemeal, you know, greaves, chest, head, shoulders, etc. Here you equip full sets of clothing that matches and presents different buffs to your character. Victor Vran is a looker, running at a consistent frame rate and is so stylish when in combat. Victor Vran is incomplete, but it, it's a lot of fun in its current state and it feels fresh and exciting and, and fluid in ways that action RPGs have lacked. The dungeon system feels different in an arcadey sort of way that I can get behind. I'm looking forward to see how the game evolves over its development. I've put a link to the game in the description for those looking to grab it.